This is Rosie McQuillan from EdTech Teacher with a new screencast about the new iOS feature called screen recording. Now you can screen record right from your iPad. So in order to do this screen recording, you need to open your settings, which I just did, and scroll till you find Control Center, and then Customize Controls. Then tap the green plus button next to screen recording, which is right here. And as you see that screen recording icon just moved to the include section up at the top. With this shortcut added to the control center, I can now swipe up from the bottom of my device and you can see that the control center is now active and the screen record button is up here in the upper right hand corner. It's a circle within a circle. The button once depressed will begin counting down from three, giving you enough time to get to the screen that you want to record. The other trick with this is if you select that button and hold down the screen recording tool, you will get the option to select or turn on a microphone. So I'm going to do that now. So I'm pressing down and you can see that I now have this new screen that says screen recording, start recording, and I have the ability to add a microphone audio. If you just tap on that screen recording tool, you will not get the option to add the microphone audio, and that's really important. So to turn that um, screen recording on, I'm just going to select Start Recording, and my iPad will then record everything that's on my screen. So I'm going to do that now. It's giving me the countdown from three, as you can see. And now I am recording my screen. can now go to any app or website that I may want to demonstrate a specific skill or point out elements to my students. So if I tap here and I now find the article that I want my students to research, I see that at the top of this screen I have a red status bar. That tells me I am now recording this particular article. So I could talk to my students about what this article is, how I want them to read it, what supporting details and notes I want them to take. When I am done making my screen recording, I can tap that red status bar at the top, and then I get the option to stop recording. With this, I can then stop the recording and it will automatically save to my photos. And here, I can then um, open my Photos app and view and edit and even share the recording of the video that I just made. So I can do some simple editing within the um, Photos app itself, and I don't have to bring it into a third-party application to make those adjustments. I hope this screencast was informative, and if you have any questions, please reach out to me at rosie at edtechteacher.org. Have a great day. Thank you.